Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny and Erin. So we're finally here for the final unit track. <laughs> Not the one 80s. that I have been waiting yes. for. So Jong Ho's solo, everything. Because Jong Ho's solo will be everything. I'm expecting a ballad. I'm expecting to hear him just go for it on the vocals. You just don't, you. I don't know. I do. I do expect it. I would be disappointed if I didn't get his the notes. Like yeah, the Jong Ho notes. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean mm-hmm. I need him to be like full ballad. Like if he whipped out a rap, I think I might die I, a little bit. I have heard Jong Ho rap. The first AT's concert I went to, when they were doing some special skills, he gave us a rap. And the reason he doesn't rap is because he would shut up everybody else because he's amazing. <laughs> God, this is only why I love him. <laughs> I just love him. To be fair, I feel like Jong Ho is one of those people that if he woke up one day and was like, I'm going to be a rapper, he'd make it happen. <laughs> like he's, if he's on a mission... You're not crossing his path. No. You're like, yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments. Give us your thoughts on everything. Is it everything you dreamed it would be? He looks so K-drama. He does. He's really perfect.
what a power ballad. Oh, just... I don't know which bit to talk about first. When it got to, like, that real, like, crescendo. Yeah. Like, all I kept thinking was, oh, my God, I need to see him on the stage. And I'm like, like <laughs> obviously he performs, but you know what I mean? Like, a theatre yeah. stage just... Because they're different to concert venues, the way yeah. that the sound reverberates round and... Just him in a spotlight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just that it's drug. So you are just purely drinking in the sound of his voice. Yeah. And I think in that scenario, you know, people like, I sit and I heard it live and I cried that. Yeah. Because the pain and the beauty in his voice. Oh. <gasps> Oh yeah, I loved the way the song built up. Again, the MV helped, but easily hear that in a K-drama. Yeah. What I love most, and I don't know if this is right in Korean, obviously, I don't understand Korean, but you know when you feel like someone pronounces each word so clearly? When he started that song, I thought, I don't know if it is that way in Korean, but I feel like if it was someone singing an English song, every word would be so clearly spoken. The, the, the enunciation, yeah. everything, is, you're, you're hitting your lips, yeah. your T's. Yeah. Yeah. Crisp. That's what I mean, so you are hearing every single word. But that's really important because he's, the whole thing of the song is, I should have just said one word and yeah. things could have been different. So now I need you to so clearly hear this song. Yeah. Every word I'm going to make count. Yeah. So that I need to communicate with you. Yeah. I wasn't clear before. Yeah. Now, now I'm going to be. Yeah. It was really beautiful all empty as well. It was. I love the fact that everything they were doing together was such an everyday not spending a load of money. It was all simple, everyday things. Because you can go on expensive dates and trips and stuff, but fundamentally your relationship doesn't work if you can't live the day-to-day comfortably together, happily. When they were playing basketball. Yeah. Oh God. Like the jealousy. For me, it was like sitting around on the sofa in pyjamas. Yeah. Because I'm at my happiest in my pyjamas. When they were sat on the sofa and yeah. they were just holding hands on the back of the sofa. Yeah, just talking. That closeness, but without having to be yeah. so close. And he was just looking up and just that comfortable togetherness that yeah. came across. I couldn't like that in the MV. And I also liked the the fire at the end. It's literally that idea of it all went up in flames. Oh, that but... term of... God, again, I don't know how that translates and if it's a term used elsewhere, but here, if something just is completely messed up, destroyed, you just go, well, that went up in flames. Yeah. He he burnt it down. Yeah. And obviously, as you hit the crescendo, when he just went high, it's like, oh, my God. The voice. I don't know how someone sounds like that. And I also love the way that he does that and then keeps, and then brings it down a bit, but keeps it up here. But he just gets a bit further and back again because it would have been, I say easy. I imagine as a singer, because I know that I do it when I'm singing along to stuff. You get up there and you just want to stay up there and belt this song out the top of your voice, but to bring it back a bit. Yeah, you Mm -hmm. must have to drop. Yeah. Something. One of the reasons why I love his voice so much, and I say that the voices that I tend to vocally that I like the most aren't necessarily ones that run or do whatever it's the comfortable and the stability and the notes he hits he feels to me so comfortable in them that even really high they are belting they're really just strong was it JD says supported yeah I did see someone online and they were talking about what kind of vocal range I people yeah. or whatever and about how you can tell they're comfortable because it vibrates mm. 
And having heard someone say that, I feel like you can hear that in his voice where like, it's, it just has that vibration through it, pushing those sound waves out. What I also love is that a song like that isn't 80s, it's not what they do. So it's nice that they can incorporate that in their album and give him the freedom to do that because we all want to hear Jong Ho use that voice in that way. Yeah. And it's just a nice way of let's get everybody what they need as well as what we do as the collective. Because again, 80s can do ballads, but not like that. That's a different... That is... The thing is, that's very different ballad because it's a solo. Yeah. As soon as you added a second person in that, you would change the story, I think, or the narrative of the story slightly. Yeah. And you would want to... You wouldn't want both people to be sounding exactly the same, so Mm. you would be changing it a bit. I think that works so well just for... Yeah. Just for him, one person to just take you on that vocal journey. Yeah. Now I'm I don't know if Jong Ho has Jong Ho Jong Ho has done any K drama soundtracks. I think he might have. If he hasn't, uh why not? You need me to write you a drama to put your, you know your OST in? Here we go. This is where I'm thinking, why hasn't he done one? And then I'm sitting here going, I want him on tour. Where is he? Why is he busy? <laughs> yeah, oh my God. How can you... You can record that on the yeah. go. <laughs> I have a mic come, come around. It's not like he spent ages recovering from surgery yeah. and, you know, all, all injuries and this stuff. No. Yeah. <laughs> I want an yeah. excuse to watch another drama yes. and you're going to give it to me. <laughs> Oh. What I'm excited for is when they tour, yeah, they will kind of all they'll do a section. They'll all go off, and then I feel like this is a song that's going to come on, and he's going to do that first. So they're going to be the first of the solo sections or the last. I feel like first to give people a bit more recovery time in between when you've got, you know. Bit dance I ones. don't remember. I did see the set list for the concert in Seoul. I think oh. this was either before or after Youth. They were done next mm. to each other. I think. I can't remember where that sat with the others. But I was just pleased that the unit tracks were on there. Yeah. Oh god, I cannot wait to see it. Just to hear it live. Do you know what I'm thinking though about hearing it live? I want to cheer for him. I want people to cheer for him. Silence. But I also want people to shut the fuck up. I want to hear Jong Ho. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to hear his voice yeah. and his voice alone. And then that song to end. And then him just hear this, like... The roar. The, yeah. Just the wave of yeah. intensity. Because, yeah, if, if someone's screaming next to me and I'm missing his notes... Yeah. I might, get, I, might have, I might get into a little disagreement. <laughs> because I said this, it was... Before we went into the concert, I was like, oh, like you know, he, he really interests me. You know, all this. And then it was hearing, actually, him live. I mean, yeah. all of them live anyway, but hearing that in my I was like, oh, maybe there's... Maybe there's a bit of a biasing situation going on here. Seeing any group live, I find, can change or confirm biases. It's, yeah. It's different. So this is going to ruin me. Okay. So that was our reaction to Jong Ho Everything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.